Hello everyone, it's Magic Dave here again, and this is Sapiens. So it's been about three weeks since the last video this time, and that was because uh, last week it just was it was all a bit of a mess. I was sort of halfway through doing something quite major, and I thought uh, it would be better to just just finish it off before I sh um, showed you guys what I've been working on. So now everything's in a much better state. I've been working on gameplay, so I've spent all my time in Lua, which is wonderful. Um, I'm always happy to spend time in Lua and not C++. Um, yeah, it's been it's been too long really that I've been focused on um, technical things. Uh, you know, it's all stuff that needed doing, but it was definitely time to get back and actually work on trying to turn this into a game. And I've made some really good progress in that regard. So the focus has been on the uh, skills system and on the craft system. So I thought I'd just go back and show you what uh, what was happening in, in skills and what progress I'd made up until um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, so this uh, little bit here was recorded nearly a year ago now. This is when I first actually added skills when I was trying to figure out how that might work. So it was um, called sort of a research system there and I kind of put in a bunch of placeholders here for different skills and you could sort of select a skill to learn it. There was the, the idea that you'd have sort of these levels um, and yeah, you'd, you'd click on one of these and then um, it would just slowly tick up and he'd be learning fire, except he wasn't doing anything yet. It was really just sort of me experimenting with the user interface and sort of general ideas. Um, and yeah, I mean, this, this was kind of a good start. It, it was, uh, what I've ended up with is, is fairly similar in many ways to this. So um, yeah, it's just interesting to look back. So I didn't actually um, touch the skill system for another six months. Uh, I just worked on a bunch of other sort of technical things and, and made good progress elsewhere, but um, I just, yeah, just didn't look at that at all. But then I came back to it at this point and I made it sort of work for the campfire. Um, so they would bring all the resources in and pile it around the campfire, which is still how it works. Uh, and anyone can do that. But then uh, the campfire itself wouldn't be built until you assigned the fire skill to someone. And I've stuck with that. This, this, you know, this is how it works now. And the um, the problem that I saw with all of this, I think because it didn't have any kind of user interface to show you what was really going on, was that it felt a bit too sort of micromanagey, and I and I thought that it might be a bit problematic going forward. And so what I did was I actually went and uh, made it so that anyone could go and start learning um, fire automatically. So they, they automatically kind of started assigning their own skills. This sort of seemed like a good idea um, and it did work, but it just it just removed a really nice kind of gameplay mechanic, I think. It, it basically took away any kind of control that the player had over who, who was specializing in what. And even though you could sort of reassign skills, it wasn't really necessary to progress through the game. And in the end, I've just decided that I really want to go back to this point and, um, yeah, and have the player actually assigning different skills. Okay, so now we get to uh, the current build and we've got little um, skill icon markers up in the top right there. Uh, these are sort of, they're still placeholders, that, that's sort of the gathering um, the icon. Um, if I go in here now, we've, so, we've got this um, assign uh, focus thing. Again, this is all definitely very much placeholders uh, UI. But um, the idea is that this will be sort of a tree view. Um, at the moment it's just a list, but it's going to be um, a tree, basically a tech tree. Um, and so each of these skills um, is going to be unlocked when you discover a particular resource and a lot of these resources will need to be crafted some of them will need to be found and um, and so you can sort of imagine each of these skills being sort of a node in a, in a long tree that has lines that are, are connected um, based on on resources uh, so that yeah I'm, I'm not going to design that UI just yet I'm sort of holding off uh, waiting um, to make sure that everything's going to work well before I sort of put a lot of time into that but I, I think it's going to work quite well um, so let me just assign uh, rock throwing um, to this this guy here. Um, as you can see, that icon's uh, changed. Um, again, just a placeholder, but uh, so he's got that skill. Um, I, I felt it necessary to, to add these icons because uh, I sort of found this thing where, you, where you, you were sort of looking for your fire guy or your, your um, butchery guy or whatever. And um, yeah, it just needed, needed that um, extra information there. 
So now that he's been assigned hunting, we could queue up hunting of chickens and he's going to go off and find a rock and start uh, learning the hunting skill. So nothing really has changed there from previous versions, um, just the, every time he throws a rock he's going to get a little bit of extra skill. Um, at the moment they're all starting with this, this gathering skill, um, but yeah again I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen there. Um, where is he? Well, he's just thrown the rock, and there we go, so he's got a little bit of rock throwing skill. Uh, and the idea is he'll probably just miss every time until he gets to that 100% that mark. So the skills now are not just skills, they are um, sort of a specialization, so that's your way of saying, you know, I want this guy to focus on hunting. So even once that reaches 100%, um, you could keep that that um, selected, and then he will, um, you know, prioritize anything to do with that. And I may even make it so that the skills level up so that you could actually have, you know, two or three stars or something as, as an indicator that um, they're actually even better at it. So their success chances are higher, um, they might be faster at it and that kind of thing depending on, on the action. And another effect that the skills have is that they actually unlock various um, things to build and craft. So buildings now, um, in this case that says it requires a resource, so they're locked behind resources, but they're also locked behind um, skills. So this, this one here would be sort of the first tier of, um, of thatch building, and so you'd be able to build this and it would teach you the primitive thatch skill in the process. So the first time you build one of these it's going to take a while, while one of your sapiens learns how to build it, but thereafter you'll be able to unlock some of these sorts of ones which actually require that you've learnt the skill so um, you know that's maybe a little bit confusing and I might sort of work on that a little bit more I, I think it is going to work though I think with enough clar um, more you know clarity in the user interface and stuff that it'll it'll be okay so let's just build a campfire now to sort of show you a bit more um, about what things how things are working so the um, the limit to where I've got with all of this is that they can now actually um, cook uh, chicken over a fire, uh, but it's going to take us a bit of effort to get there. Uh, okay, so they've, they've brought all the resources here, and as you can see, now we've got this warning here, and this is a new kind of a new kind of marker warning where it says at the top there, "Build no sapiens learning the required skills," and so. Um, yeah, I might, I'll probably add a bit more information there so you know exactly what skills required and so on. Um, but so we've got um, CK over here, um, he's got rock throwing, we'll leave him assigned that. Uh, let's get Sui um, to learn fire lighting. So now that she's able to do that, she's got a little fire icon there and she's starting to build the fire. Um, and in the process of building the fire, she's learning the fire lighting skill. Now my plan with all of this is actually that that these people could, like, he, he's not really doing anything right now, and he's watching her building a fire, that he should also be just learning a little bit of the fire skill just by watching. So I think some of this stuff can be, you know, quite interesting. Um, but yeah, I haven't done that yet, but, you know, it should be reasonably easy to do that. And there are lots of opportunities here for, like, kids to learn uh, just sort of automatically from their parents by watching or hanging around them, and, um, you know, by taking resources to the building sites even, you know, you could just the proximity, they could start to learn a little bit as well. So I, I don't think that micromanagement's going to be a problem. I, I don't think that this is, you know, too too difficult. I've tried to keep it simple by keeping them just with one single priority. You know, there's no kind of assigning, you know, multiple um levels across different you know, things or whatever and also like once she's actually learned fire um, that, that will always be a skill that she's got and whenever a fire needs lighting she can go over and do it even if she's focused on some other th some other thing okay so I've just skipped through the night and now I want to show you how crafting's working uh, so I'd only done um, added crafting very very recently um, yeah, probably a month ago and the way that it had worked is that you went into this menu here and there was a craft menu in here uh, you'd, you'd choose your thing here and it basically was the same as building you know you just you just plonk it on the ground and then that, they'd bring the resources and that was pretty much it now I decided that that was not going to work very well going forward um, there were a number of reasons uh, it's, you know sort of to do with like technically how I was going to achieve sort of stacking up resources, crafting multiple items and all that kind of stuff, uh, as well as just, um, yeah, the, the kind of ease of use for the player and even the, the, the complication of having craft and build in the same interface here, um, it was just a bit confusing. So what I've done, uh, ignore these 
strange lines that are the icons for these, I'll sort that out. But um, yeah, I've added this crafting area. So a crafting area is basically like, it's almost like a workbench if you're playing Minecraft or something, or a craft bench or whatever they're called. Um, it's, it's a spot where they can craft things. And uh, they will be very limited at what they can craft in this kind of basic craft area. Let me, let me just place one. Um, there'll be a certain number of things they can do there, but then other things will be tied to objects. So the campfire itself is actually a craft area, and once it's lit, we'll be able to see what you can craft there. But this one here, if I now click on it, we've got a few options here as far as um, things that we can craft. So in order to cook some chicken on the campfire, we're going to need to butcher a chicken, and this tells us we need a butchering tool. Um, and I mean, you know, this is prime. This is basically going to be in a, in a tool tip, and hovering over it will tell you exactly what the those tools are but I know that one of them is a stone knife so I'm going to craft one of these in fact I might craft uh, five of these just to give you more of an idea um, so even though no one's learnt uh, learning rock napping at the moment they're all off going to fetch uh, the required resources because just like campfires they don't actually need to have the skill but let's assign this guy uh, rock napping Okay, so they've brought a few of the resources here. Uh, what we've got here is one rock, which is actually the tool, and two rocks, which are actually going to be turned into knives. Now, um, here's our guy that we um, assigned rock napping. He's coming over. Uh, so he should now realize that he's got everything required, and he's going to start napping rocks. Okay, so there's um, obviously a few difficulty, a few things still to do here. These rocks are piled up in a nice um, vertical stack at the moment, which uh, they'll be a, they'll be sort of sorted out as a pile. Uh, so as you can see, he's learning rock napping. Um, he's not going to be able to actually finish off that crafting activity until he's learnt that skill, at which point um, he'll produce some knives. Uh, so he's nearly done. Um, yeah. I, this was all very uh, difficult. <laughs> um, the just the fact that uh, the rock could both be a tool and a resource was kind of complicated. Um, trying to get them to bring resources at the same time as he's sort of crafting that was a difficult thing to get working as well. Uh, just things like animations, getting things piling up in the right place, all that kind of stuff uh, was not easy. Uh, but I did get there, and I'm actually really really happy with with where I'm at with this. Um, obviously, there is work to do, but it's it's going really well um, so yeah he's successfully crafted a couple of knives now um, she's just putting them into that storage area uh, let's just create another crafting area and now that we have a um, some knives and have managed to um, hunt some chickens we can now butcher the chickens so um, again uh, she's taking a knife there uh, she'll take a chicken there and then we'll get to the point where no one has been assigned the butchery skill, uh, which is going to tell you there. Uh, so let's get her to learn butchery. Uh, so now she's going to go over and butcher the chicken. Uh, I've also got um, the crafting of spears working correctly, and yeah, it's all it's set up really nicely for the future. I think you know it's a lot of these things, um, you know, I. I was a bit concerned I guess with crafting before where it was heading but now I just have no concerns you know that this game is going to work with this so um, yeah it's just it's great to have have it at this point so now that the campfire's lit as well we can go in here and see that it actually is another thing with a crafting interface um, and it says you know that we can craft cooked uh, chicken meat um, but un unfortunately it's still locked and that's because we are requiring um, chicken meat which we're about to have pretty soon um, one thing that also I've implemented that was a bit tricky is the, the um, cancelling of crafts. So let me just maybe, I'll, I'll just queue up crafting a few of these. Um, okay, so he's now crafting some, I don't know, what are they, flint spearheads. Um, if we go to cancel, then he's just going to get up and leave it in progress. Um, so that's still that's still kind of in progress, and if he resumed that, then he'd complete it quicker. But now that we have cancelled it, we can actually go in and craft something different. Now, um, what how they deal with that was going to be a bit tricky I you know it took a bit of work but what they do is they just take the resources that are there and the tools if they're not required and they just they just take them away and then they'll once 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 it's cleared out they'll then bring in the resources that are required to craft what you've what you've queued up 
Um, so if I then um, assign uh, this guy the butchery skill, then he can also start butchering over here. Uh, but she's just finished and she's eating some raw chicken, which is probably not a very good idea. Uh, but now with these, uh, with this raw chicken, she can um, store all of that. We can now go and queue up the cooking of campfire meat. Um, so again, same thing, this is just like another craft area, um, she's going to take the resources over, but she doesn't have the skill to actually cook yet. So let's give her the campfire cooking skill, um, at which point she's going to stand over here and start learning how to cook. Now this is a little bit odd because, um, you know, it's going to take her a while, she has to learn the skill, and in the time, I mean you sort of think, that she would have burnt the meat or something, um, you know, and maybe she will, maybe I'll make it so that you actually lose a few resources in the process of learning, I'm not sure, that's all about balancing and that'll come quite late in the development process, uh, but for now, you know, it's it sort of makes enough sense and it's working okay, um, and yeah, as you can see, the, the stick sort of vanishes um, momentarily, what, what's happening there is they actually, every few seconds they sort of reassess what they're doing and they decide, Am I, is this what I want to do, or should I go and do something else, and in that case she actually decided to go and sleep and um, yeah I would probably just need to tie that animation over just sort of keep it going um, during that that process sort of make them multitask a little bit okay so they've slept through the night again and um, yeah I guess uh, also this stick is a little bit interesting because it's not a branch and it's not even a resource that's required uh, I did think like I could make this a tool just like how they needed a rock to do their, their flint napping over here and they needed a knife to butcher the chicken. I could make it that you need a stick in order to, to cook something on the campfire. But I just it just seemed like an un unnecessary kind of extra resource. I don't really want you to have to then you know craft a branch into multiple sticks or to find sticks and store them up. You know they're quite small. They'd be a small thing to try to try to click and stuff. So um, I figured you know there'll be sticks around. So you know just magically give her a stick while she's um, cooking and you know I feel like that's all right. Uh, okay, so she's nearly done. Uh, we're at ninety six percent on the campfire skill. Um, as it is currently, once they learn it, they then actually have to do the kind of process of actually cooking it. And I don't know, I'll, I'll fiddle with all of that, sort of balance it all up. Uh, but I think it takes about 10 seconds to, to cook um, a piece of meat at the moment. And there it is, cooked meat. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with how all of that sort of come together. Uh, there is obviously uh, lots of refinement to do, lots of user interface refinement. And um, yeah, just balancing and things that will come later. I think this is going to extend really well into sort of pottery and um, you know crafting uh, metals and, and all that sort of stuff that you'd, you'd expect to come later so uh, yeah it's it's good. So my plan for the next couple of weeks would be to just spend a couple more days tidying up a few loose ends. I'd really like to get those progress indicators working for the skill icons uh, and maybe just tidy up the UI just a bit to make it a bit more user friendly. Uh, you know, there's there's still heaps to do, um, but I will, yeah, just spend a couple more days and then leave the rest for later. And then I need to go on and um, attack some other large task. Now, I'm not sure what that task will be yet. Uh, it'll probably be something along the lines of like farming or, or some kind of uh, big system like that, that that still needs to be done. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't know. I'm kind of excited to leap into something different. And um, in a couple of weeks, we'll see what that was. So until then, um, please again, go and wishlist Sapiens on Steam. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos. And we will see you in a couple of weeks. Cheers.